Hello student, this is the case study 2 from chapter polynomial. An asan is a body posture, originally and still a general term for a sitting meditation pose and later extended in hath yoga and modern yoga as exercise to any type of pose or position adding reclining, standing, inverted, twisting. So all these stories they will give behind our main question. Okay, So you can see they have... Uh, uh, just put to one uh, pictures of asan and you can see parabolic shape here that means it is related to quadratic polynomial now we'll come to our main questions question number one is the shape of the poses shown is obviously it is parabola okay and quadratic polynomial it represent number two is the graph of parabola opens downwards if now in your syllabus class 10 syllabus you will find two types of parabola only okay the, uh, this is one parabola which we can say opens upward okay and another one will be this one which you can say opens downwards so this is our question graph we want to find the a value when the parabola opens downward. So this for this question, I'll take some example here, random example. Suppose p of x is equal to polynomial, simplest polynomial x is square. Okay. And suppose if we want to draw its graph, what we will do, we'll put x values here and a random values x equal to 0. So p of 0 will be 0. x equal to 1. So P of 1 will be 1, 2, so 4. Similarly, some negative values if we take, we will get minus 1 is square 1, minus 2 is square means 4. Okay. So, for 1 it is 1, for 2 it is 4, for minus 1 it is 1, for minus 2 it is 4. So, if you join, we will get the parabola which opens upward. Isn't it? So, if I just change the sign here, minus x square, if I uh, change the sign, what should I get? I will get just reverse image, a reverse graph, isn't it? Because p of 0 will be 0, no doubt. p of 1 will be minus 1, 2 will be minus 4, and p of minus 1 will be minus 1, and this also will be minus 4. Because this minus is already there, x square minus 1 is square will be minus 1 only okay so let these numbers be same here okay 1 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 but if i'm taking 1 i'm getting minus 1 if i'm taking 2 i'm getting minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 so if i join this graph it will be like this okay so if we uh, observe this graph or if we compare this graph with our general equation general polynomial sorry quadratic polynomial so you will find that a coefficient in first graph where graph of parabola opens upward a was positive right so we can say a is greater than zero it can't be equal to zero remember this because if it becomes zero this uh, degree order two will uh, term will vanish and that equate that polynomial won't be quadratic polynomial so if a is positive i am talking about d option so we will see that graph is opens upward okay this question also can come that's why i am discussing that also and see if minus x square if you compare you will get a as minus 1 right that means a is negative so if we get a negative for this our graph opens downwards so both condition you can remember okay this is not possible for quadratic poly polynomial this is also not possible because equal to sign is there so if a is 0 opens upward a negative less than 0 open downward next question number three in the graph how many zeros are there for the polynomial so to find number of zeros from the graph we should check at what point at what point or at how many points 
graph cuts the x axis okay only x axis okay so here we can see at two points at minus 2 at 4 two points okay so zero will be two okay sometimes they will twist the question they will see p of y is a polynomial that means that type this is the p of x type polynomial okay here it is not mentioned means p of x only remember this so you have to check the point where the graph cuts the x axis sometimes they mention p y is a polynomial and they will give such kind of graph like this so this time you have to check the graph where graph cuts the y axis okay so remember this concept p of x here it is not mentioned so we'll take the standard one p of x cuts the x axis if they mention that p of y is a polynomial then find the zeros here so you should find uh, intersecting point on y axis okay So sir, if the two zeros in the above shown graph, just now we calculated it is minus two and four. Option B is correct. Okay. Question number five is the zeros of the quadratic polynomial are. Now here a quadratic polynomial we can solve by splitting the middle term method. For that we should know product should be four into three into Oh, sorry, four root three into minus two root three. Okay, so that will give eight minus eight into. Uh, we can write this root three into root three as three only. So minus twenty four. Product should be minus twenty four, and sum should be plus five. Okay, so we can see here if I multiply eight and three, eight into minus three, I get the product minus twenty four and sum as five. So eight and minus three I should write here. So plus eight x minus three x minus two root three, okay, equal to zero. Oh, now uh, from the first two term we can take four common root four x common we can take right root three x will remain and two will remain. Now here if I write three as root three is square. Okay, because any number can be written as a square of its square root. Because if we cancel this square root and square, we'll get the same number. So I'm just writing root three as root three square, so that I can take common something common. I should take right. So I'll take now x is also there. Sorry, root three I will take. So root three x plus and here the last term two will remain. So we got two brackets, same brackets we got that we will take common now, and 4x minus root 3. Okay, so root 3x plus 2 equal to 0 or 4x minus root 3 equal to 0. So x value we will get minus 2 by root 3 or root 3 by 4, which is in option B. Okay, so our B option is correct option.